Hey boys and girls. Today we are continuing to talk about the vision, but as we're talking today, we're going to mainly discuss the remainder of our answers. How we can interpret the remainder, how the remainder will um, um, kind of help us know our answer. Sorry, let me do like this. Sometimes the remainder is our answer. Sometimes the remainder is something that we have to add to our answer. Sometimes we totally remove the remainder when we're trying to find the answer, like we did a couple times um, last week. So today we are still in our modules one through nine book, and we will begin on page 59. I want you to turn there and follow along with me as we do this lesson. So you can, um, so you can work this out with me, okay? So we're on page 59 of your module one through nine book. All right, let's see here. So this says, I can solve a division problem and interpret the remainder. Interpret just means understand, know how it's used, know what we're gonna do with it. That's all that means. All right, a land surveyor rolls a wheeled device on the ground to measure distances. You may have seen something like this before. A lot of times things are marked on football fields or baseball fields with them. Each full turn of the wheel measures 14 inches. The surveyor measures 1,617 inches of land. How many turns of the wheel are needed to measure this distance? So if we know that one time is 14, but they did it, 1,617 inches, we're wanting to know how many times did that turn around, okay? So use division to represent the situation. So we can just write 1,617 divided by 14, okay? So again, over here to the side, we've got some room. I like to have plenty of room to work this out and make sure that you write this correctly. Remember, 1,000 617 and I think it's easier to just not include the comma right here is being divided by 14. Don't write it the opposite way because that would say a completely different problem. If we had 14 and we were dividing it by 1,617 we would get a very 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 small decimal or fraction you know something way less than one. We already know we're gonna get a whole number when we when we divide like this. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna do just like we were doing last week. 14, I know it can go into 16. How many times? Just one, because only two more would be 16. So I'm gonna put that one directly over that six because 14 went into 16 one time. One times 14 is 14. Subtract, bring it on down and bring it on back. Again, 14, we're saying how many times will it go into our new number 21? Still, it's going to just go that one time. And if you're not real sure, test it out up here. 14 times 2, that's going to be 28. It's too big. So 14 goes into 21 one time, because 1 times 14 is 14. I know 21 minus 14 is 7, though, because I know my 7s. All right? I can subtract, bring it on down, and bring it on back. So here, 14 into 77. Again, I don't know my 14s, but I can do an estimate, okay? I might know my 15s because of the clock. That helps me know them. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, about five times. So let's try 14 times 5 and see what we get. I'll do it right over here. Yep, to the side. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. So that gives me 70. Well, I know I can't do another 14. That would be way more than 77. So 14 goes into 77 five times. But guys, just because we estimated right there, um, and we came close. You know, I don't always come close. Sometimes I have to keep multiplying or go, go up or go down to find the right number. So five times 14 is 70. When I subtract, I get seven. 
okay? There's nothing left to bring down. Seven is less than what I'm dividing by, so I know this is my remainder, all right? So it says divide and write the whole number quotient and remainder. So 115 remainder seven. Now, the remainder indicates the number of turns of the wheel that is not a whole number. Use the remainder to find a fractional part of the last turn, because remember, it had to do 14 inches to be one whole turn. Remember it's telling us that? But we have these seven inches left over that, um, that we know isn't 14. So we're gonna write the remainder as the numerator. Seven, and we're gonna write the divisor as the denominator. Now this one we know, we're like, oh yeah, it's half. It's half of a turn because most of us know seven is half of 14. So what fraction of a turn is represented by the remainder? You can say seven fourteenths, or you can say one half. You know, you might look at that and just say automatically, oh yeah, seven's half of 14, so seven fourteenths would be a half. So um, it says write the answer as a whole number of turns and a fractional part of a turn. How many turns of the wheel are needed to measure 1,617 inches? Well, 115 and one half turns. Or you could say 115 and 7 fourteenths turns. Okay? So when we did this, 14, you know, went into our number. 115 equal times but it had this 7 left over and so that we made a fraction with that divisor because it was that much not quite a whole equal group okay all right let's keep rolling so now we're on page 60 let's keep thinking about our remainder a large plot of farmland will be used for a new field the seed that the farmers will plant on this field is sold in large tanks. Each tank can cover 72 acres with seed. How many tanks are needed to cover the entire field with seed? Okay, represent the situation using the division problem. Identify the dividend and the divisor, okay? So, let's look at it again. And our picture is helping us right here. Here's our large plot of farmland. Our field is 1,140 acres. The seed is in tanks. Each tank can cover 72 acres. I have 1,140 acres. So I want to know how many tanks will be needed. One tank will do 72, 72, 72. I need to know how many of those. So I've got my 1,140 acres, and I'm dividing that with 72. By, by groups of 72, 72, 72, 72, okay? Our problem says identify the dividend and the divisor. So remember, um, the dividend is what is being divided. So I'm just gonna write it right here beside it. This is the dividend. And the divisor is what you are dividing by, okay? So, the dividend is our 1,000, the divisor is the 72. Okay, so we're gonna divide to find the whole number of quotient and the remainder, we're gonna show our work. Okay, so I'm gonna do that over here on the side where we've got some room, and I'm gonna rewrite this, 72, 1,140 divided by 72, okay. Again, I'm gonna look, 72. I'm gonna pretend that comma's not there. 72 is bigger than one, 72 is bigger than 11, 72 into 114, okay? So I'm going to make a guess. Hmm, I know my sevens. I know seven times two is 14. This is 114. I'm thinking that that might be too big, but I'm gonna test it out anyway. So up here, let's do 72 times two. 2 times 2 is 4, 7 times 2 is 14, it's 144, that's bigger than this, so it's only going to go in there one time. 1 times 72 is 72. So remember, I'm saying 114 minus 72. 4 minus 2 is 2, and I'm going to get 42 here, 
Remember, after you subtract, always bring it on down, bring it on back. So again, I'm thinking, how many times will 72 go into 420? Well, again, I know my sevens. I know seven times six is 42. So why don't I try 72 times six? I think it might be too big, but that's okay. Six times two is 12. Six times seven is 42, plus one is 43. Six times is too big, so let's try five. We'll stick it way up here. 72 times five. 10, seven times five is 35, plus one is 36. So since six times was too big, I can only go in there five times, and I showed my work up here to know that that's 360. Okay, so I'm gonna borrow, and I, uh -oh. and I'll get 60 as my remainder. So right here, I've got 15 remainder 60. That's a big remainder, but it's okay because my number that I'm dividing by, my divisor is 72. So this is less than that. Okay. So the seed is sold only in full tank. How many tanks must be purchased to cover the entire field? So what, what we just found out was when we divided this, we were needing 15 whole tanks, but I've still got 60 acres here that need some uh, seed. And it says it's only sold in full tanks. So I cannot go to them and say, can I get 15 remainder 60? that's not going to make sense. So since I've got 15 I'm using and I have some extra, I'm going to need one more tank. So instead of my answer being 15 remainder 16, I'm going to need 16 tanks. 15 almost did it, but I've got this 60. And you know this was like 15 60 over 72. You know, I had, and I know my 12, so I can say that's 15 and 5, 6. I had almost enough, but I'm going to need one more tank to be able to fill the rest. Now, sometimes I'll have students that'll say, oh, well, you need 15 plus 60. No, we don't need 60 more. 60 was less than one more, so we're just going to need to get another tank to cover that. Okay? How many acres will the seed from the last tank cover? Well, it's gonna do those 60 that we had left over. The last tank we're gonna use to do those 60, okay? All right, so you know you can do one and two on this page to have some extra practice. Um, make sure you check by multiplying to know that you're right. And if you have any questions, let me know.